Welcome to this video on constructing your air racer. We're going to pick up this project at the point where you have laid out all of your lines and all of your parts on your cardstock and you're ready to start working with those to actually build your air racer. Let's take a look at how this happens. After you finish the layout portion of the air racer, you probably have your pencil and ruler handy. It'll be good to keep up with those. You'll also need a pair of scissors to complete the air racer. Cut out all four pieces of your air racer. Be careful to cut right on the lines. At the back of the main body panel, you'll need to use your scissors to make a three inch slit. This will let you attach your fins later. Line up the edge of your ruler with one of the fold lines on the main body panel. Hold the ruler still and be careful not to let it slip. Then fold the tab up to a 90 degree angle. You'll also do this on the tab on the other side of the main body panel. Next, use your ruler to fold along the dotted line at the back of the main body panel. You need a good sharp crease here. Continue using your ruler as a guide and fold the tabs on the air scoop. When your folding is done, your part should look a lot like this. This is the front of your air racer. You need to measure and mark a spot one inch back from the front of the main body panel and one and one half inches from the side. This lets you locate the staples that will make the hook for the rubber band. Now you'll need to use some masking tape. Tear off a piece about one and a half inches long. Apply the tape on the underneath side of the main body panel right in the middle of the front. The tape should run long ways. Turn the main body panel over. You'll be using the stapler to make the hook for the rubber band. Using the pencil mark you made earlier as a guide, put three or four staples right in the center of the main body panel, an inch back from the front. Keep these close together and right in the center of the panel. Turn the panel over again. You'll be using a small flat tip screwdriver to finish the hook. Use the screwdriver to bend up the ends of the staples closest to the front of your air racer. Be sure to bend them up enough so they can easily catch the rubber band on the floor. Now you will begin to assemble the air scoop to the main body panel. Using your ruler, measure from the front of the panel one and a half inches and make a mark at the fold line on the side. You'll be marking both sides this way and remember you need to do this on the bottom of the main body panel. Find a glue stick that you can use to attach the air scoop. After you apply glue to the tabs on the side of the air scoop, line up the front of the scoop with the two pencil marks you made on the main body panel. Press the two parts together to get a good glue bond. Use some masking tape to reinforce the corner between the main body panel and the air scoop. Keep it neat. Now it's time to attach the fins to the back of the main body panel. Apply some glue to the inside of the tab as far as you cut the slit earlier. Glue in the fins. Be sure they face forward both match up with each other. Flip your air racer over and pull the back edge of the main body panel down to the bottom corner of the fins. Attach it to the tabs on the main body panel with masking tape. This section should angle down to the very bottom corner of the air racer. Notice how it looks where this pencil is touching the racer. Congratulations! You have now correctly assembled your air racer. Now it's time to test it out. See if yours will glide farther than any other in your class. Have fun!